Hi, I'm Dr. John Chow, the inventor of the pinhole surgical technique, also known as pinhole gum rejuvenation. It is a scalpel-free, sushi-free technique for correcting gum recession. It's an alternative to the traditional method of gum grafting, where the doctor takes a piece of tissue from the roof of the mouth and uh, puts it where it is needed. So this totally skirts that um, particular method and gives the patient the choice to have a scalpel-free, sushi-free, minimally invasive procedure for correcting uh, this very vexing and serious problem for a lot of our patients. To illustrate that case, uh, well, I want to show you this particular case that we did for Kimberly. Uh, back in uh, uh, October 14, 2022, this is actually a case that we did in class. So we did this particular case a little bit over here on uh, the bicuspid, and may, 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 mainly we're trying to focus our attention on here. And in 28 minutes, we went from here to here. And you can see the difference between here and here. So, so Kimberly, uh, first of all, how did you find uh, found you by my dad sending me a link from Sonoran Living. Uh, he lives in Arizona and he was watching it on TV. It popped up and he looked it up, sent me a link, and then I Googled Pinhole Surgery Los Angeles and you popped up. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about your experience with, with the pinhole uh, gum rejuvenation. Um, it was a lot... It was pretty quick. I wasn't expecting it to be so fast. And I got to have some viewers in the room, got to see because we had the other doctors there. And you kind of went through and talked about what you were doing with each step. And, you know, it didn't really, I didn't feel anything, which was fantastic because I didn't want to feel anything. So nobody ever does. I uh, didn't feel anything when it happened. And everybody said, you know, looks great. Just don't touch it. Don't think, like you said, don't touch it. Don't think about it. And it'll look better in no time. But I saw the pictures and, even 30 minutes, like you said, 30 minutes after surgery, the gum was already lowered that much. Uh, had a little, had the swelling, you know, and some of the, the healing afterward. Sure. But then you can see it pretty crazy to see the images. Yeah. So did you, so you saw the change immediately, didn't mm -hmm. you? And then uh, tell us about your experience with pain. With the pain, I mean, I took regular ibuprofen and Tylenol and had little bits of pain or headache here and there. But for the most part, I was able to take care of it with those yeah. over-the-counter pills. So, How many pills over-the-counter did you take? Mm, I took like maybe three times a day a dose. So yeah. morning, evening, and night. Yeah, so one day or two mm -hmm. days? Or... Um, Probably three days, three I days. think. Three uh days. -huh. Yeah, yeah that's, that's about average. Mm -hmm. um, but no prescription medicine, right? Yeah, no yeah. prescription medicine. Okay. Yep, and no stitches. That was one of the best things yeah. because I have done the other uh, surgery before on my lowers here. And one of the worst parts about the healing process was the uh, stitches actually sticking out into my lip for mm. six weeks. So mm. to not have any stitches poking me or anything here was great. Yeah. So so we have a wonderful result. It, it heals more every day. So I can't wait to see what it's like in six weeks. And patient is very, very happy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will share with you more as time goes on.